Weaver and welcome to another day at South Caldwell. Today is National Single Awareness Day. So do you prefer to be single or in a relationship? In a relationship, and you? Um, I think I prefer to be single. Let's see how the rest of South feels. I'm Karen, I'm here with Sunshine. Are you single or taken? Single? Sad, man. Was it easier or harder on Valentine's Day? Harder. Would you prefer being single or taken? I would rather be taken, but for that moment of truth. <laughs> I'm Karen, I'm here with Jack. Are you single or taken? Single. Was well, Valentine's Day harder or easier? Easier. Would you prefer being single or taken? Single. Okay, thank you. I'm Karen, I'm here with Sydney. Are you single or taken? I am single. Was Valentine's Day harder or easier on just another day, honestly. <laughs> Do you prefer being single or taken? Uh, I like being single. Okay. <laughs> well, I agree about that, but thank you. <laughs> I'm Karen, I'm here with you. Hey. Are you single or taken? Taken. Was it harder on Valentine's Day or easier on Valentine's Day? Easier. Do you prefer being single or taken? Uh, okay, thank you. Hey, I'm Karen, I'm here with Amber Baker. Are you single or taken? I'm single. Sad. Yeah. Was Valentine's Day easier or harder? Probably easier. Whatever. Um, would you prefer being single or taken? I'd prefer to be taken, but like, I'm alright. Seth? <laughs> okay. I'm Amber and I'm here with... Karen. Are you single or taken? I'm taken. Was Valentine's Day easier or harder? Easier. Do you prefer to be taken or single? Heck yeah, I'll take it. Alright, cool, thanks. There are home basketball games tomorrow. You can watch the games on our streaming site at the link below. Tomorrow and Friday is prom of the past day. Dress in throwback fancy clothing. Come dress to impress. February 23rd and 26th is our school day. Dress up like a SCHS faculty member, stop by the cafeteria, and pick up a thank you note to send to our, your favorite SCHS faculty member. South Colorado's National English Honor Society is accepting applications through February 26th. Membership is an honor bestowed upon students for their accomplishments in the field of English and overall achievement. Members have the opportunity to meet lots minded peers and become more involved with our school and community. Members are eligible for scholarships and graduation courts. See Ms. Welty with any questions. Rising juniors and seniors, are we, if you are interested in engineering, think about taking drafting courses at CCC and TI. You can earn a certificate in two semesters while in high school. Sign up for DFT 151 and 152 and DFT 154 in 254. Rising juniors and seniors who qualify for career and college promise, the following courses are potential courses for next school year that can be taught here at SCHS. Math 171 and 172, pre-calculus, Math 152, statistics, Math 271, calculus 1, Math 272, Calculus 2, History 131, American History 1, History 132, American History 2. Music 111, Fundamentals of Music. This is a class taken along with AP Music Theory. Also, if you're wanting to take any college courses, either at SCHS, at CCC, and TI or online, make sure to contact Ms. Triplett before March 5th. CCC and TI Student Government Association is highlighting Career and Technical Education Month this February. Students are invited this week to learn about biopharmaceutical technology. Ms. Triplett sent out a link to your email. SGA will be drawing names for prizes and one student will receive $100 for participating in a scavenger hunt. The next COBRA Career Talk is Wednesday, February 17th at 10 a.m. Learn about emergency management, criminal justice, EMS, and firefighter training. The session is open to all high school students. The link was emailed to you by Ms. Triplett. 
We need your blood. If you are 16 with consent provided by Ms. Tolbert or older, please sign up for your appointment by going to bit.do slash 2021 blood drop. You will receive a $20 Visa gift card for your donation. We look forward to seeing you there. I mean, I could use $20 in my pocket. Don't forget to order your yearbook. Go to bit.do s-c-h-s-y-b. Also, if you've got a great picture that you think is yearbook worthy, send it to us. Email it to s-c-h-s yearbook at caldwellschools.com. We really need pictures of students doing spring and winter things. The student who submits the best picture will be getting a free yearbook. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and enjoy, enjoy the ride. Man, Valentine's Day is so much easier without a boyfriend. I don't know about that. I rang. Oh my god. <laughs> you I don't up. know about that. I rang up. <laughs> Jack Roosevelt Robinson who lived from January 31st, 1919 to October 24th, 1972, was an American professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball in the modern era. Robinson broke the baseball color line when he started at first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15th, 1947. When the Dodgers signed Robinson, they heralded the end of racial segregation in professional baseball that had relegated black players to the Negro League since the 1880s. Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. During his 10-year MLB career, Robinson won the inaugural Rookie of the Year Award in 1947, was an All-Star for six consecutive seasons from 1949 through 1954, and won the National League Most Valuable Player Award in 1949, the first black players so honored. Robinson played in six World Series and contributed to the Dodgers 1955 World Series Championship. In 1997, the MLB retired his uniform number 42 across all Major League teams. He was the first professional athlete in any sport to be so honored. Major League Baseball also adopted a new annual tradition, Jackie Robinson Day, for the first time on April 15, 2004, on which every player on every team wears number 42. Robinson's character, his use of nonviolence, and his talent challenged the traditional basis of segregation that had then marked many other aspects of American life. He influenced the culture and contributed significantly to the civil rights movement. Robinson also was the first black television analyst in MLB and the first black vice president of a major American corporation, chock full of nuts. In the 1960s, he helped establish the Freedom National Bank, an African-American owned financial institution based in Harlem, New York. After his death in 1972, Robinson was posthumously awarded the Congregational Gold Medal and Presidential Medal of Freedom in recognition of his achievements both on and off the field. There is. Don't tell me this thing. Shh, it's recording camera. It's okay. You ready now? I'm ready. Okay. Have <laughs> Uh, no, I can't read that. It's not for the cafeteria. Pick up. I mess up this word every time, you guys. Amber, just say that word for me, can? Where? The. You don't have to say it. She's saying the bestowed. I'm saying bestowed. No, I'm talking about the S word. The one I kept messing up. Last society. Time. Society. Yeah, I cannot say that. You can say society. No. Say it right now. Society. This All right, never mind. <laughs> How do you pronounce that word? Biopharmaceutical. Matt. Wait, I, can I just pronounce that as Matt? Math. Mm -hmm. Math. Mm -hmm. I can't see that. <laughs> I just. <clears throat> <laughs>